हेलो एवरी वन माई डियर फिजियोज एंड ऑल माई स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू सीरीज फिजियो क्वेस्ट येस सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू विच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे एंड दिस वीक ऑल्सो वी हैड सो मच फन डिस्कसिंग द आंसर्स एंड आई लव द वे यू हैव गिवन डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट योर आंसर्स एंड नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू कम टू नो दैट वेदर योर आंसर्स वेर करेक्ट और रॉन्ग so let's begin with the first question which was asked on the tuesday of this week and the question goes somewhere like this that which position best promotes strengthening of the supraspinatus muscle while also limiting subacromial impingement and the options what given are are option a empty can exercise in the scapular plane option b 90 90 external rotation exercise option c shoulder horizontal abduction exercise in front and option d shoulder abduction exercise with therapist cues to promote scapular retraction now my dear friends and physios the first thing we have to understand the question here so many of you have given answers with the reasoning of it but when i am going to tell you the answer and its reasoning you will feel like oh we missed this part so let's go through the question again the question says that which of the following exercise is going to promote supraspinatus strengthening now what is the action of supraspinatus muscle if you ask me it is initial abduction okay where it is situated so this muscle is situated somewhere up on the shoulder girdle which helps you like it is a part of rotator cuff muscle and helps you to maintain the integrity of the shoulder joint so this is the basic anatomy we should remember when we are answering this question second information what we have received in this question is that we are suspecting a subscapularis or sorry we are suspecting the subscapular impingement here right so impingement means this is the acromion process this is the head of the humerus if this both are coming more closer it can cause the impingement of the muscle that is what we call it as impingement syndrome so we are suspecting that and now we want to strengthen this supraspinatus muscle without decreasing the space between the head of the humerus and the acromion process so which of the following exercise will be the best now let's go to the options option a it is a empty can test now we know that empty can test is used for what to find out uh, supraspinatus muscle impingement for which we are performing scapular plane movement and then we are going for the internal rotation so which is basically to test whether there is impingement present or not so that cannot be an exercise to strengthen the supraspinatus muscle so that answer we can easily eliminate it right all right so moving forward to the second option so what second option we are given here is second option we are given is 90 90 degree external rotation now tell me in 90 90 degree like for example let's say 90 degree of shoulder flexion 90 degree of elbow flexion and i go for external rotation where i am going to activate your supraspinatus muscle no i will not be able to activate this muscle so if i am not able to activate this muscle how am i going to strengthen the muscle so that option also easily i can eliminate option c is horizontal abduction it is promoted okay in scapular plane like this so this is horizontal adduction we can say from adduction if we am going in the abduction plane friends this activity research is according to research it suggests that when you are performing this activity it can promote the activation of supraspinatus muscle as well as it can reduce the subscapular scapular impingement so both the components which are asked in the questions they are matching to this possibility so i am just going to wait till we see the option d so option c might be correct option d what of what we have received is we will perform abduction of the shoulder along with the retraction of the scapula now here is a catch yes abduction of the uh, shoulder definitely is going to activate your supraspinatus muscle but when you ask patient to perform the retraction of the scapula what will happen automatically we are reducing the size we are reducing the space in between the acromion process and the head of the humerus 
which is going to compromise and cause the impingement syndrome so that is why that option also cannot be correct and the answer which is correct is option c which is we have to perform the horizontal abduction now this can be performed in standing position as well as it can be performed in prone lying position